Elijah is in the category of what I think are the greatest men that ever walked the earth, or walked the moon, if you like, in this day. He was a prophet. Prophets are God's emergency men for crisis hours. Uh, let's say this, it's, it's primary, and yet it's true of all of them, the prophets walk alone. Prophets are antagonized by the uh, declension and apostasy round about them. They refuse to bow to it, they stand up against it. And uh, in fact God only raises prophets in days of declension. And uh, apostasy. You never find a prophet sponsored by men. You never find a prophet begging for money over TV. Usually the message of a prophet is accepted only by a minority. No prophet, however great or successful he was, ever became uh, the man of the year. I get a little disturbed when I get letters and I get some almost every week. Sometimes it seems they come every day, either letters or phone. God's called me to be a prophet. Or God has called me to be a John the Baptist. When a man says that, I say, are you insured? And he says, what do I need insurance for? Because you're only going to live six months. That's all John Baptist. I don't know whether he was insured, but that's all he lived for six months and lost his head over the business. <laughs> But there's the law, he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it, and he that preserves his life shall lose it. 